Okay, this is Ramsey the Atheist, <laughs> and I've, I've got it going on. See, I'm a numismatist. Uh, I'm just going to sit around all day and do nothing. I'm going to I'm going to twiddle my thumbs, you know, because I got no purpose in life. There's no point to being to even to even being alive. You know, I'm going to study the numinous art of Rado Montade because <laughs> I got nothing going on, folks. And guess what? When I die, I'm going to hell. I'm going to burn forever in hell. But see, I, this is cool because I want to be an atheist. See, I love self. I love accolades. And I love self-aggrandizement. Um, and I'm going to go, I'm going to study, and I'm going to master all these books on philosophy. I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to be a free thinker. You know, just kind of have an intellectual free-for-all. You know, and I'm just going to uh, start, a, you know, accruing in knowledge. And then, you know what? I may read Richard Dawkins. But you know what? The Bible says I'm a fool. And I'm, yeah, I, I am a fool. And, um, and it also says I'm going to burn in hell forever. But I don't care. I'm good, you know. You know what I'm going to say in front of you know what I'm going to say on judgment day when I'm standing in front of God Almighty? My bad. You know, throw me into hell, and he will. And I'm going to burn in hell forever. But you know what? That's cool because I'd rather be an atheist because I'm having fun. I'm living it up. You know, I'm living I'm living large. And uh, I just enjoy being an atheist because it's so fun. You know? And then you know what? I'm going to study master the art of Billingsgate. And, you know, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn about the Potemkin village. Like I, I'm going to learn all this stuff that doesn't matter. And then when I die, I'm going to split hell wide open and burn there forever in torments. Utter torments. But you know what? That's cool. Because I'd rather be an atheist. This is Ramsey the Atheist. And um, I'm just going to go out and just learn it all. And just be a... Uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, what's that? There's a cool, fancy word. I, and you know what? We atheists, we can learn all this cool stuff because Christians are ignorant. Oh, the word is, um, okay, hold up. I gotta think of the word. An ultra crepidarian. You know? Like a latitudinarian or something? I'm gonna be a latitudinarian. And I'm gonna master all this, all this, an ultra, ultra crepidarian is a person who just dabbles around, kind of trifles around with a bunch of, lots of different, uh, subjects rather than just, um, pensively, uh, studying one subject and then ma masterfully and then being consummate in that subject. It's just, you know, we're gonna study a lot of little things, trifle around. You know, and that's what I'm gonna be. I'm an I'm an atheist. I'm cool. You know, I get to wear my hat backwards, and I get to do I get to do the Janita Jacosis as I walk. You know, that's the provocative swing of the hips, reminiscent of uh, Elvis and Mick Jagger. But I don't care because I'm an atheist. I'm cool. I'm smart. You know, woo! Look at me. And when I go to when I die, I'm gonna go to hell. That's where atheists go, my friend. And this, of course, is a burlesque. It's a travesty. It's a lampoon. It's a spoof. It's not real. You know, this is not. Ramsey the atheist. This is Jack Smack saying, if you don't believe on Jesus Christ, you don't trust in the finished work of the cross, you too will go to hell forever. So this is not a, this is not this is a joke. It doesn't matter about what you got going on in this lifetime. See, the atheist posits that when they die, they're just going to be worm food, fertilizer. They're going to be in the ground six feet under. But see, that's not the case. When they die, they're going straight to hell. Their soul's going to burn in hell, fire and brimstone. Everlasting torments, and that's what the Bible teaches. And why is that? Because they refuse to accept the free gift of eternal life that Jesus Christ offers to anyone who simply believes on him. John 6, 47, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Well, if you're an atheist, you don't believe on Christ, and you have eternal damnation to look forward to. So enjoy that. It's not going to be enjoyable. It's going to be horrible, but that's that's your that's your reality, that's your eternal fate, and that's the way it is. So, anyone who is an atheist out there, deal with it. That's all I have. <clears throat> deal with the reality of judgment. Deal with the reality of sin. Deal with the reality of hell. And I'm tired of atheists saying they don't believe in all that stuff. But you know what? It, it's it doesn't matter what you believe. What matters is what the book says, what the Bible says. The Bible says, and I'll close with this last verse, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. But he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Period. That's all I have when I close with prayer. God, thank you for allowing me to preach this little sermon. You know, it's a travesty, of course, but you know what? I want to let people know just how foolish they're being. Atheists have got nothing going on. Who cares about how smart they are? Who cares about what they're learning? It doesn't matter if you're in hell burning. It doesn't matter. Keep us safe. Bless us abundantly. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Mm-hmm.